every hurricane season, we have new challenges. And as we've seen over the past couple of years, the COVID-19 pandemic really forced us to rethink how we evacuate or shelter in place. Yeah, the main challenge for a lot of people from last year, many are still displaced and in temporary homes. I took a trip down the bayou as people there voiced concerns about the future of their communities. A lot of natives, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the Verdans, the Billy Eyes, the Dardars, uh, the Parfaits, the Fitches, uh, you got the Duplantis, you know, so uh, then you have a lot of, also a lot of African Americans because you had a plantation, one of the largest plantations was Ashland Plantation right up the road. Clarence Verdan, who you may recognize from the NFL, has roots in Terrebonne Parish. He showed us around the area of Bobtown and Dulac, which is about 35 miles southeast of Port Fouchon where Hurricane Ida hit. Verdan showed us the destruction that remains. A lot of the infrastructure you see either is gone or is damaged, you know, so they're still in the process of uh, trying to get mitigation grants and different type of funding to restore their home. And, you know, the hurricane is a bonus next month. Paris President Gordon Dove reflected on the scope of work in Terrebonne and told us that although there is much left to do, much has been accomplished. Pornishan, Montague, Chauvin, Dulac, is is uh, the rebuilding is really going fantastic uh, for the ones that can rebuild without starting from nothing you know and so we've you know we, we've been fighting the housing problem and there's more and more fema trailers all starting to move into town and we're working with gosef with the state and they've worked well with us dove says the parish has 17 million dollars in hazard mitigation money and giving grants to repair or lift homes Still folks in Bobtown, like Nigel Robinson, are concerned as now hurricane season is here again. What's going to happen if people don't have FEMA um, or if FEMA denies them? Like, I'm concerned with, is it going to stay this way forever? Like, is anybody going to come out and help and help to rebuild this community? Lois Hill tells us people here are living in conditions that are challenged by the weather all the time. But during hurricane season, they'll have to evacuate for just about any threat. Any type of high winds, it's gonna blow the little tarps that they do have on, uh, the little FEMA trailers that they in. They complain about the trailers rocking all the time because of the high winds. They have to move. For WDSU News, I'm meteorologist Damon Singleton.